Ryan, talk about the um, the point in the first half. You guys were down 12. Um, Madison was controlling the game. What, what was um, what was going through your mind, and what was the team's attitude at that point? I think in the beginning, once again, we were just we wanted to come out the blocks fast, and we tried so hard to do that that we just was too excited and we didn't play our game in the beginning. We played right into James Madison hands, and that's what allowed them to take the lead early and, and just build on it. What we had to do was really calm down and get back into playing George Mason basketball, getting stops, and um, basically taking it one position at a time. For Trail, you kind of dropped out of the rotation there for a while and uh, were in a slump, and what happened today uh, <coughs> that you really picked things up and uh, really key to the surge in the first half? Well, pretty much, um, you know, I'm focused on defense and rebound. So when I got in there, that's just what I wanted to do. Like defense and rebound, just help the team as much as I can. And uh, yeah, I was in a shooting slump, but my team believed in me. I stepped up and I did whatever I wanted to do, whatever I could do for my team. Right, talk a little bit about the trail tonight. Mason sort of built a reputation as having a lot of scoring options. Now you've got another one comes off the bench, it gives you guys a real lift. What kind of advantage does that give you? Just the fact that you can constantly bring guys in waves that can give you a lift on the offensive end. I mean, I, I guess that, that makes us more of a threat because, you know, we have so many different weapons and any given mm -hmm. night, anybody could just go off and be our leader scorer. Um, just like you said, we we always believe in Ember Trail and practice. You know, this guy, he can create his own shot. And we know that he <laughs> once he gets hot, he's real streaky. And once he gets hot, hey, man, we just got to keep feeding him the ball. And that's basically what the plan was. We ran a couple plays for the trail, and he stepped up and knocked down big shots, with, uh, which helps it ignited us on defense, too, actually. You know, we started pressuring them more and trying to speed them up. And, and basically, with him making shots is just going to better us off for the rest of the season. Portrayal, uh, describe what it's like when you get into that rhythm and teammates are looking for you and, and the shots going for you. I mean, it's just a fun atmosphere. You know, just being out there, uh, out there with your teammates. They're my friends. I love these guys. And I just enjoy it. And, but they were looking for you. Did, did, what did it feel like to have to be in the position to to shoot like that? I mean, not really, not too much important to me. But like just knowing that my team want me to have the ball is just a great thing. And I just, you know, stopped, stepped up and did what I had to do. At practice Thursday, you were running a drill where you you kept running behind a chair, catch, shoot. Is that something that you've just been constantly been working? Yeah, um, I always try to. Why the coaches always try to tell me to shoot game shots. So in practice, that's what I do, shoot game shots. And every shot that I shot tonight was 